Hello, and uh, welcome to Food Talk. One of our listeners today is asking me a question. Nick has uh, two young children, and he wants to know about uh, potassium sorbate. And here's his question. Daddy, is potassium sorbate bad for me and my kids? Well, Nick, I thought that was an important question, and I uh, went investigating. And here's what I found. Uh, let me tell you a little bit of a background on potassium sorbate. It is recommended by the World Health Organization as a uh, very stable and efficient preservative. So yes, you will find it in your food, but not just in food, you'll find it in all kinds of beverages, in tobacco, but I know you don't smoke, uh, pesticides, uh, shoe polish, cosmetics, uh, in some uh, industries that make uh, resins, uh, spices, rubber industry, and uh, very likely all kinds of other places as well. So we can see that the potassium sorbate is found in a lot of stuff. So sure enough, when you go buy some food at the grocery store, you'll see on the can or on the box, the list of ingredients, you'll see potassium sorbate listed. What you don't see is what is in potassium sorbate. And I went and checked that out. And here's what I found. Potassium sorbate contains lead, arsenic, mercury, and other heavy metals, God forbid what those might be, and as well as aldehydes, as in the formaldehydes. So to answer your question, Nick, no, don't eat any foods that contain uh, potassium sorbate. Avoid them like the plague, because there'll be a lot of other opportunities that you'll have to eat lead, arsenic, and mercury. So when you can avoid those foods, avoid them. Good health to you. Bye-bye.